My family is in big trouble because this huge volcano is about to erupt. Can me and my brother Milo build a secure underwater secret base to keep our family safe? That volcano is about to erupt any second now, Chip. Our families are totally not safe. You're right, Milo. We have no time to waste. Let's get building our secure underwater secret base. Let's go! We've got to get to the water's edge, Milo, and find a good spot to make our base. Well, here we are. I think this is a great spot, Milo. Let's dig right down so we can be in the water as quick as possible. That's a great idea! If we build into the side of the cliff face, then we'll totally be safe. Yeah, exactly, because so much of our defense will be done just by the stone in the walls. Exactly! And we don't even have to build that much. Yeah, but we can still build so many things to help protect us and our families from that giant volcano. I'm feeling really nervous, Chip. What if it blows up while we're still Oh, Milo, we need to not let that happen, and we can help stop that by building really, really quickly so it doesn't even have time to blow up. But uh, you know I'm a really slow builder, Chip. Yeah, I do. Okay, I think this is a good level of deepness for our hole. Now let's see if we can find our way to the ocean and build a huge glass window there. But the ocean is gonna come into the hole! Look at that! If we place glass right here at the center of the hole, it'll stop the water from coming in. But Oh, sorry, Milo. Quick, swim in that hole that I just broke for you. Oh, I can't. I'm not a very good mermaid. <laughs> no, you're not. You make a really good buddy, though, and a really good survival companion. I know we can survive this thing together. We gotta dig this out so there's plenty of room for both of our families. Yeah, and us as well. We also want to make the window way bigger so we have a really nice view of the ocean. <laughs> Water on me, Bozo. Sorry, Milo. I promise I'm doing my best. This window is going to be our only connection to the outside world while we're surviving the volcano blast. Maybe we can watch some fishies go past. Wait a second. Whoa, look. Whoa, there's another underwater cave? That's good. It means we have another view of the water. Keep mining this out, Milo. We need the main room to be really, really big because it's going to be where both of our families come and meet every single day. Volcano. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I think this is a good size for our main room. Hmm. Now I'm gonna start replacing the floor with a bunch of materials so that we don't have to live on stone the whole time. Alright, I'm gonna keep digging out this little section while you get started. Great idea, Milo. I'm using oak planks just like this because they're a really nice floor block. Yeah, I'm really, really liking these oak planks right about now. Thanks, Milo. Me too. Hmm, I think this wall is looking a little lopsided. Let me fix that. Hey, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Thanks, Milo. I'm glad we're on the same page with this. All right, now I'll build like this, and hmm, I kind of want this glass window to be a circle. I think I know what to do. Hey, Milo, stop that. Trust me, I've got a really good design planned. We're going to mine out like this and continue it down. I don't know how to build circles. I actually don't even know what shape is a circle. Milo, well, in a second, you'll know what's a circle because this is one. Um, really? Yes, Milo, I promise it is a circle. Now we need to really make the floor out of wood just like this. Okay. Volcano doesn't burn up our floorboards. Oh, that's a good idea. Hmm, we better build something in the roof to protect the floors from the volcano. I'm gonna block off the roof just like this using stone blocks. We'll have to get rid of it later though so our families can get through. Yeah, otherwise they might be trapped up there while we're trapped down here. Exactly. I'm gonna mine four blocks this way so that our main big living room can be just as big on both sides. I'm really liking the view of this water right now. I know, me too. Oh, it's so beautiful. You can see the kelp forests for miles. I don't really like to eat kelp, so I hope we don't have to survive off that for very long. Oh, you're right, Milo. We'll need to build some really advanced farms and survival systems to make sure we do not have to eat the disgusting kelp. Yucky! I don't really like eating fish either, so let's try and avoid that as well. What? But you're a birdie. Birdies love fish. No, I'm not the kind of bird that likes fish. I'm the kind of bird that likes bird seeds, silly. Yeah, I know, Milo. I've had to watch you eat bird seeds every single day, and you're always so messy with them. What the? Chip, why are you putting bookshelves in the wall? Well, Milo, we need something to read if we're going to be stuck down here for ages. But you don't remember. I don't know how to read books. 
Yeah, well, maybe your wife and your kid might, and my family definitely will. This base has to be good enough for both of our families and us, not just me and you, Milo. I'm gonna put an enchanting table down so I can read the squiggly little lines. What, Milo? I thought you were gonna put it down so we can enchant things. I don't know how to enchant things. That's for weird nerds. Hey, my entire family knows how to enchant things, and we are not weird nerds. Are you sure about that? When was the last time you looked in the mirror, buddy? Well, I'm not gonna get to look in a mirror yet until we make a bathroom full of mirrors for everybody to remember what they look like. I get really distracted when I see mirrors. Wait, Milo, you're getting distracted now. Come on, help me make this hallway so we can make more rooms. Hallway? What? Where's it gonna lead? This hallway is gonna lead to every single room we need to survive, like a kitchen, a bathroom, maybe even some farms. Do I get my awesome epic room? Okay, yes, Milo, you can get your very own awesome epic room at the very end. Yes! Alright, this is a pretty good length for a hallway, I think. Let's start actually building in the floor. I'm gonna make it out of wood planks as well. We really need the same design across the whole house, otherwise our feet would get cold on the stone. Yeah, and I'd probably get confused and forget that we're actually in a bunker or something. Exactly, we're in a bunker, not just a cave. That's really important to remember so we don't go crazy. This base is looking so good, Chip. I'm really liking it. Thanks, Milo. I'm really liking it too. I'm adding in more bookshelves just because if we have to stay down here for a hundred days, we need every single book ever so we don't get bored. Yeah, like Harry Potter. I really like the Harry Potter book. Me too, Milo. I like them as well. Whoa, I can't believe we've both read it. Now here is where I'm going to build the kitchen. The kitchen? Oh yeah, boy. I like to cook some food. <laughs> Do you mean bird seeds, Milo? That is food, and it's the mostly most scrumptious thing in the whole world. Yeah, I guess, if you're a bird. All right, now it's time to start making the floorboards. I'm gonna get some concrete, and I'm gonna get black and white concrete as well, just like a classic kitchen. Oh yeah, this is gonna look really good. Maybe I'll get the white concrete and do the other parts. Yeah, that is if I don't beat you to it. I'm going so quick. Hey, stop it. Oh no, did I just mess it up, Jim? Milo, yes you did. Okay, I'll fix your mistake, don't worry. We're working on it together, so I'm here to help. Okay, well I guess that's a good idea. All right, now let's get some andesite blocks and start making the walls of the kitchen, just like this. What? This looks ugly, Chip. I don't want to use andesite. What? What would you use instead, Milo? Jungle wood. What? Jungle wood? Okay, we can compromise. Inside the andesite, you can add a bunch of jungle wood, and I'll even help you. Yeah, jungle wood's my favorite block. Yeah, it's a pretty awesome block, actually. You're right. I like it because you can grow cocoa beans on it, and that is what you use to make cookies. We can have cocoa beans in our house. Yes, oh yes, we definitely will, because otherwise I'm not going to get to have my cookies, and I get pretty cranky if I don't have my cookies. I do not want to see you without cookies. We have to have the lifetime supply of cookies for Chip. Yeah, we better. If there's a single day where I don't have my cookies, I'm going to go absolutely crazy. All right, now that we've built the wall, it's time to start filling the kitchen with decorations. Decorations? Oh, this is my favorite part. We better get some benches in here. Maybe a switch. Yeah, first I'm gonna grab some acacia cabinets and some warped cabinets. They need to be blue and orange, just like us. We need to remember who we are, Milo, otherwise we'll probably lose our minds. I'm gonna get a cooler cabinet and a little grill. I'm gonna get sinks so that we can wash our hands. Whoa, good grill, Milo. I'll put a blue one right next to it so that we can both cook as much as we want. And check it out, we got a little cooler box. I think these turtle eggs definitely ought to do the trick. This way we can make omelets. Yum! That sounds pretty scrumptious to me. And I have a really fun treat that I'm gonna put there. Milo, if it's bird seeds, I'm gonna go crazy. It's not bird seeds, it's cake. <gasps> what? Cake? Milo, you genius! I can't believe you thought of something so amazing. Yeah, we're gonna be able to snack on it for years. I'm also going to get some lanterns to put on the ceiling. This way, our kitchen is going to be really bright and we'll see everything we're cooking. These look super nice, Chip. You're like a designer. Yeah, I basically am. Let's also get some furnaces as well. This way, we'll be able to cook all of our delicious foods to keep ourselves from going hungry. I can't believe I forgot about the furnaces. 
that's like the main cooking tool. Yeah, it definitely is. Whoa, I'm loving our kitchen so far, but we need to build some different rooms as well. Now let's dig out a hole to build a sitting room in. This way all of our families can sit around a fireplace and chill. Wait, what do you do in a sitting room? Well, you sit, Milo. That's the reason it's called a sitting room. That sounds boring. What about a running room or a spinning room? Um, I don't know. Spinning rooms would make everybody dizzy and a running room would probably just tire everybody out. We need all the energy we can get to survive this volcano blast. Yeah, but I'm gonna go crazy down here if I don't get my daily run around. Well, we're gonna make the entire base into a big loop so you can run around as much as you want. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, goodness gracious, because it's going to be so good and so great. Okay, now that I've cleared a really tall area for it, I think I need to build the fireplace chimney going right up. A chimney? That's how we're going to stay warm in here, of course. Exactly, and it's not from the lava. The lava would be way too hot, so the fire is the perfect amount of warmth in between normal temperature and lava. Okay, we'll do orange, orange, orange from my whole family, and blue... Excuse me, Milo, we'll do blue, blue, and blue for your whole family. So we're basically just gonna be sitting in here? Yeah, but we can also play games and charades, and we can even play hide and seek. I'm just gonna fill in the ceiling. I'm pretty confused about the ceiling situation, but I'm just gonna go with it. Hmm, I think we can do something better. Maybe if we add a ladder over here and turn the bottom block into planks, we can actually make a second story to the sitting room. A second story? Chip, that's genius. Thanks, Milo. Now it's not just a sitting room, it's a climbing room as well. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Climbing rooms are so much fun. I have one in my house. Well, you're going to have one in your new, brand new underwater security bunker. Chip, I miss my old house. I know, Milo. I miss it too, but your old house is right next to the volcano. It's going to get totally destroyed by all the fire. This new house is the only way we can possibly survive. Well, now I'm feeling really lonesome. Well, Milo, it's not going to be lonely because both our families are going to be down here with us. I guess so. But what about all of my cool toys that I have in my old house? We can build so many awesome rooms that you won't even want to go back to your old house. This new house will be even more awesome. I just hope that the base is strong enough to survive the volcano so we can enjoy it. Yeah, that's actually really true. I guess all that really matters is that we get out alive. Yeah, exactly. And our families get out alive too. I really hope they're okay next to the volcano. Once this bunker is done, they're going to move in here with us. They're going to really love it. My little baby Milo is going to have so much fun playing with the books and stacking them up. Yeah, they can build secret pillow forts with the books. And I think my wife is really going to enjoy reading them all. Is she? I didn't know your wife could read. Of course my wife can read. Everyone in my family reads, even the baby. What? How did he know how to read? But I don't know how to read. Milo, I wouldn't be saying that. That's a really embarrassing thing to mention. I didn't know it was embarrassing to not read. Oh, Milo, you're so silly. All right, now that we've done the sitting room, I think it's time we make a big dining room so we can all eat as a family together. Yeah, I'm really liking this, Chip. Let's definitely do the dining room. I'm going to grab some spruce planks and some deep slate. This dining room is going to look so fancy. Spruce planks? Chip, that totally clashes with the rest of our aesthetic. No, Milo, we need to make each room different because if we can't leave the bunker, we need different zones to go in so that our brains feel nice and refreshed. I totally forgot that we're not going to be able to leave this place. Now I'm freaking out. Really? Okay, Milo, if you don't want to freak out, tell me some things you want us to add to the dining room so that it feels just like home. All right, pretty much I want a big blue table and I want some cool chairs. I want some candles on the table and lots of snacks for me. All right, Milo, I have all the amazing ingredients to build this awesome, awesome dining room. I actually changed my mind. I just want the whole place to be full of bird seeds. Oh, okay, I can do that, Milo, but you have to promise that you're not going to complain to me ever again. I won't complain. I'll be super happy if there's endless bird seeds just everywhere. I even want a table built out of bird seeds. A table built out of bird seeds? Milo, that's not possible. What? I thought you said anything was possible. Yeah, not that, though. That's just crazy. 
that's why you're a liar. Milo, if not being crazy makes me a liar, then yeah, I guess I'm a liar. Yeah, you calling me crazy, Bozo? Yeah, I am calling you crazy, but what's also crazy is how awesome this big blue table looks. Well, what's your back when this volcano explodes? Because it might be pushing you in there. I think we'll make the center of it spruce. Oh, that looks awesome. And let's just fill it with cake. Let's also add orange candles on top of the cake. And I guess we can also add bird seeds because otherwise Milo is really gonna throw a big tantrum. Let's add some bird seeds on all these walls. I wonder if they're different flavors of bird seeds or if Milo just likes the one. I'll have to ask him sometime. We'll have all the time in the world to talk about bird seeds while we're stuck in this bunker together. All right, and these are the final seeds to add. Milo, why is there a donkey inside the sitting room? I don't know, but I named him Mim Mim. Mim Mim? That's a crazy name, Milo. They didn't even name the donkey in Shrek that. He's gonna be our friend down here. Okay, I guess we can have an extra member of the family, but I'm not cleaning up after him. You found the donkey, so he's your responsibility. All right, hi Mim Mim, you're gonna be my best friend. Well, the roof is done in the dining room. Now it's time to get started building bedrooms, Milo. Yeah, I think this is done, and I'm pretty much loving all of these bird seats. I think we need to make one, but have it a big dormitory room for both of our families. Well, where is Mim Mim gonna sleep? Well, Mim Mim can sleep in the farms that we're gonna build later. Hey, Mim Mim, get out of the kitchen, Milo. Your donkey's trying to eat the cake. Yeah, he's allowed to have some cake. Oh, okay, fine, but if he does eat all the cake, you have to replace it. Do you have something against Mim Mim? Yes, Milo. He just came into our bunker and he smells really bad. He's gonna eat all of our food rations. Well, Mim Mim told me you're smelly, so I don't know. One of you must be lying to me. You'd believe a donkey over me, Milo? He didn't betray me, so yeah, I do. Um, where's he gone? He's reading the books. What? You mean eating the books? Hey, donkey, stay away from the bookshelves. Those are expensive. He's a really smart donkey and he's studying for his diploma, so leave him alone. Okay, okay, I won't have to worry if I can get a good night's sleep, so that's why this bedroom is really important. Okay, bedrooms are really important because we need eight hours of sleep. Exactly, every single night. That's one of the most important things to having a happy and healthy life. Oh no, Milo, water's coming down from the ceiling. Wow, we really did build right next to an underwater cave. Oh no, I'm freaking out. What are we gonna do? Don't worry, Milo, the water is draining away because I blocked off the source. Thank goodness, Chip. That got pretty crazy right there. All right, if you keep building the floor, I'm gonna get some concrete to build the walls. This design is gonna be really interesting. I can't wait to see what you do with the place. Me too. I think half of it needs to be light blue concrete and then the other half can definitely be orange concrete. That way both of our families have an equal side of this bedroom to sleep in. Or it could just all be blue. I don't know. Milo, no. Then only your family would be able to sleep and it would not be fair on both of us. What? So your family can only sleep if there's orange around them? That's pretty lame. Yeah, well, wouldn't you not like it if the whole bunker was orange then? What a it, but I'd be able to sleep still. Yeah, my baby's a lot more sensitive than that. He has sleep apnea. What? Sleep apnea? That's a bit sad, Chip. I know, we're dealing with it, but hopefully all this time in the bunker will help him. Milo! Mim Mim got inside the bedroom! Get him out! Get him out! Mim Mim, you're not allowed in here! Chip said no! Milo, if you can't control this donkey, I think we might have to push him out into the water. He's not this donkey! Now let's get some colored beds, like an orange one and a light blue one, just to put inside this room. Obviously the blue ones need to go on this side. Yeah, and we're gonna put an extra one down for Mim Mim. What? Milo, actually, you know what? As long as Mim Mim is sleeping on your side, I'm fine with that. Alright, we struck a deal then. That's good. Yeah, exactly. Now let's get a bunch of chests so that we can each keep our personal belongings in here. I have so many personal belongings. I'm gonna need a double chest, thank you very much. Okay, Milo, but there's no space thanks to your Mim Mim. You can just put it above, silly. Okay, um, I guess that works. All right, now it's time to start adding flower pots above the chests. On my side, I'm gonna add a bunch of orange tulips just like these. I actually don't really want flowers because I get hay fever and so does Mim Mim. 
Okay, fine. I'm gonna add some carpets right down the middle so we know where each room ends and won't step in each other's personal space. Yeah, because if you come over to the blue side, you're toast. Okay, and if Mim Mim comes over to the orange side, he's gonna be toast as well. Don't you touch him! I'm also gonna get paintings and place them on both of our walls. I think one will be perfect here. Oh, that spider one looks awesome. And what'll go good here? Oh, I actually kind of want that fire one. I hope you don't mind. Oh, but that one's cool. I'll give you the water skull one. Yeah, because it's blue. I'm sure it'll really fit over on your side. Quickly, Mim Mim, get off his side! Mim Mim, hey, stay out of my side! You know what? That's it. I'm going to build a fence around the whole thing so Mim Mim can't get in. No, Chip, he has to be able to sleep in there! Yeah, Milo, I'll let him in on your side, but not on mine. I'm building an acacia and warped fence just like this. You can leave yours open to let Mim Mim in, but I'm gonna keep mine closed so he can't. Oh, this is a really horrible situation. Did you break the painting I just made, Milo? Um, no, I didn't touch it. Okay, perfect. Now the painting is all safe. This bedroom looks kind of awesome. I love how it splits down the middle. Yeah, it's really good. Now we need to make bathrooms that split down the middle exactly in the same way. Bathrooms! I'm gonna have so many baths. Yeah, okay. Well, you better build a big one so Mim Mim can use it. Mim Mim doesn't like taking baths. He actually doesn't like water at all, which is why he's down here. Yeah, my family loves taking baths. They're always so clean, much cleaner than Mim Mim and your family. Don't you talk about Mim Mim like that. Just because we don't take baths doesn't mean we don't take showers. What? Okay, I guess you can have showers on your side and I can have a bunch of awesome baths on my side. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna make my bathroom out of orange wool and orange terracotta. Actually, wait. Oh, orange glazed terracotta. Look how pretty this is. I can even build it in a circle just like this. And you could put it through the whole place because it's got both of our colors in it. Oh, wow. Good idea, Milo. I really like that. We're making some awesome design choices together. This is so fancy. I know, we're gonna have the fanciest bathroom that any bunker has ever seen. They're not gonna believe their eyes when they come and see this. No, they won't. Alright, I will add the same over this side so that your family can enjoy the luxuries of this beautiful tile as well. I really like that we're gonna have some bright colors down here, otherwise it would get really depressing. I know, I do not want my family to be growing up in a depressing bunker, that would be sad. I know they love orange, and I know your family loves blue, so this is perfect to make everybody happy. And we can even look at it from our bedroom and admire how pretty it is. Exactly, now I'm gonna start placing orange terracotta just like this. Excuse me, Milo. Hey, let me finish my thing, thank you very much. But then, Milo, it won't be symmetrical on both sides. Let me get some light blue terracotta so I can make it over here. Otherwise, there'll be books in the bathroom and they'll get totally soggy and wet. Books in the bathroom? No thanks. I don't like reading books at the best of times. Yeah, exactly. That's why these walls are really important. This way it lines up really nicely with our other bedrooms and we don't have to read in the bathroom. Chip, this is not blue. Milo, it's blue terracotta. It can't be the same blue as our bedrooms. But it's purple and it's ugly. No, Milo, this is called light blue terracotta. You gotta trust me. It looks bad and I hate it. Okay, if you want to change it to light blue concrete, you absolutely can. No, that's too much effort. I just know my family's gonna hate it down here. Hey, Milo, our families aren't gonna hate it. They're gonna love it. Oh, I guess so. Well, we are trying our hardest. Exactly, that's all they can expect from us. I'm gonna make the entire roof into that same beautiful tile pattern. I think it'll really keep everyone's spirits super high. I think some toilets would be perfect for this bathroom. I'm gonna have three on my side, one for every member of my family. Hey, I want toilets as well. Okay, you can have three, but I need to build a wall in between them. That's not gonna work. Why? There's not enough room. Hmm. Okay, maybe it can't be a full wall, but it's just gonna be really embarrassing going to the toilet. Yeah, because they're gonna have to look at each other. We'll only be able to go to the bathroom one person at a time. Then what's the point of having three toilets? So everybody gets their own. I don't want to use a toilet after you've been on it. That would be gross. What the? I'm very clean when I go to the toilet. Thank you very much. Excuse me, Milo. It's gonna go all the way over here. And now let me just fill it with water. But you've done the bathtub. Now you gotta make me a shower. Hmm, 
Okay, I think I know exactly what to do. Let's add a tripwire hook here and a lever here. Okay, now this lever when activated should turn on the shower. Even though it doesn't work right now, I think I know exactly how to make it. First, we need to put a dispenser in the ceiling just like this. And once this lever turns on, we can use redstone to link it up to the hollow wall right here in the ceiling. Then finally, it'll lead right over next to this dispenser. Now I just have to find some redstone and a redstone repeater to link this whole thing up. All right, I super duper hope this works. And boom, now every single time somebody activates that lever, it should dispense, but we need to put some water inside so that it actually has somewhere to go. We also need to add a quick little loop of trapdoors around so that the water doesn't go everywhere. Let's put the water right in the middle and boom. Look, the water actually activates and it destroys the tripwire. Whoopsie daisies, but look, Mim Mim's going for a swim. Now let's turn it off. Now that we've finished all these rooms, let's go check on our family and see if they're okay. Family, we're back and what? They're not at the volcano anymore. Where could they have gone? Oh no, I'm freaking out. This is really bad. What if the volcano monsters already <gasps> took them? Milo, look, they're in here. They're in the pond. Oh, it's because it's getting so hot out here that they need to cool off. Oh, thank goodness you guys are safe. That really scared me. Yeah, but Milo, they're kind of right. It is getting way hotter out here. I think the volcano is about to erupt. What the? Aw, oh, Chip, we're not prepared yet. We need to get back to building right away. Over this side, we've already built so many awesome things for our family to enjoy, but over this side, we need to build a bunch of farms to help us survive. Yeah, because the reality of the situation is we're not going to have lots of resources. Oh no, I ran into the fireplace. We need to make this hallway a little bit more to the left, but look, we're already running into the water. I think building this base underwater might have been a bad decision. But Chip, how else are we going to stay protected from the lava? You're right, Milo. Water is really cool, and I think it'll help us cool down from the ultra-hot lava. Yeah, that's so, so true. The ocean is the safest place for us. Exactly. All right, I'm going to keep mining this way, and this hallway needs to be a little more secure than the other one. The other one has a bunch of nice rooms like dining rooms and, uh-oh, I've already hit the bathroom. This hallway needs to be way more secure because it's going to have a bunch of dangerous things like a mob farm and a tree farm where the kid could fall off the branches. Do you really think having a mob farm down here is a good idea, Chip? Yeah, Milo, we need bones to make bone meal and things, otherwise we'll probably starve down here. I do not want to starve. Food is my number one priority. After my family, of course. Yeah, me too. My family is my number one priority. And then I guess it's food. All right, let's keep adding andesite to this hallway. It's got to be shorter just in case any of the mobs that we're farming break free and try to run down the hallway and chase us. I'd be really angry if that happened. Yeah, me too. I'm also building it out of stone because stone protects us from the heat pretty good. A lot better than concrete or wood will. Isn't stone just dried up lava? Uh, yeah, it's lava that's cooled down but I think it works pretty well. Stone melts a lot slower than wood burns, so this should help protect us. All right, Chip, I'm really trusting you on this. Yeah, I'm trusting myself on this one too. All right, let's just add some more stone up here and perfect. Why are you hiding down here next to the window? looking for any bad guys out here. Milo, it's not bad guys we have to worry about. It's getting bad fried by the lava. Yeah, but what if an elder guardian tries to have a staring competition with me? Milo, if there's an elder guardian out here, you won't have to worry about it staring at you because pretty soon it's going to become a bunch of fish fingers when the lava cooks it. Yummy! I love fish fingers. All right, we need to build a way through this water so that we can make a proper farm. But look, we're in an underwater cave. This is really good, actually. Yeah, it'll protect us, but Milo, we can't let our baby drown in it. My kid's not very good at swimming yet. Well, maybe we could suck it up with sponges. Yeah, good idea, but first, let's add a glass barrier so we don't soak up the entire cave. You were definitely right when you said that it'll help us against the lava. Yep, the lava is really nasty. Right, let's just add it here. Come on, Milo, get inside. Yeah, but the water's really confusing me, Chip. Okay, now let's just grab some sponges so that we can soak this thing up just like this. Wow, that worked a treat. Yeah, it definitely did. All right, now let's just keep building it out like this. And I have to get the blocks in the corner so it doesn't look ridiculous and messy. Yeah, 
back. This gravel's really annoying me. I know. It's annoying me too, Milo. But we have to focus on bigger, more important things like getting this farm done and keeping the water out, of course. Oh, this is a really bad situation. I wish we didn't have these underwater caves. I know, me neither, Milo, but they are, and there's something we have to deal with if we want to survive the volcano explosion. Oh, dang it, here's another one! Wait, Milo, I think this could actually be a good thing. This is a natural underwater pond, and maybe we can even use it to go fish farming. Yeah, we could go fishing in here! Alright, that's a great idea! We just need to block off the cave from the surface so that none of the lava can get inside through here. Okay, wait, I'll be there in one second, Milo. I just have to finish making this barrier. All right, and I am done. Now I'm going to come over to the glassway and see what you were doing. Look! Milo, you're on the other side. Get back in here. The pond leads around to the outside of the hallway. Whoa, this means that if we need to do repairs on the glass hallway, we can swim through here and have a really easy time fixing it from the outside in. Isn't this so cool? Yeah, but I'm just going to swim inside first. I don't want to be stuck out here. Yeah, me either. All right. Now that we've built this fish farm, we need to make a tree farm just over here. Tree farm? How does that even work? Don't trees just grow in nature? Well, Milo, you can also grow them using saplings. And if we have a dispenser, which we definitely will, we can automatically grow them to be really, really quick. Oh, yeah. We're going to have so many trees and we're going to build so many cool yeah, we definitely will. All right, I just need to clear out this area so the trees have enough space to actually grow in. Hey, Milo, are you going for a swim? I hear splashing. Yeah, I'm actually starting to really love this water situation. Oh, Milo, we can't go swimming right now. There are more important things to focus on. I'm adding wood around the corner of this tree farm so we know exactly where to put the trees. Yeah, what if we forget and we put them in the fish pond? That would be disastrous. The tree would soak up all the water and it would totally kill all the fish. Oh, man, that would be so bad. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Exactly. Oh, no, water started to fall in from the surface. We're really close to the edge of the water right now, Milo. I think we're really pushing it. Yeah, but we're pushing it in the right direction. Now I've added glowstone to the ceiling so that the trees have a bunch of light. I'm also going to add some grass to the floor so that there's a bunch of natural blocks for the trees to grow on. Nice. Thanks, Milo. I think it's pretty nice, too. All right, I'll just keep making the trees like this, and boom. Now, let's get a chest and fill it to the brim with saplings. We need one of every single kind. We can get cherry saplings, dark oak, acacia, jungle, even birch and spruce, and of course, we definitely need oak. All right, I see the chest can go right over here. Perfect. Let's just put the saplings inside and let's just duplicate them so we have a bunch of ones. We don't want to run out that quickly. Mim Mim's going to love this area. He better not eat all the grass. That would be really, really annoying. Hey, he won't eat the grass. He's a good boy. Yeah, I don't know, Milo. All right, now I'm going to add a dispenser where we are going to place the trees right in front of and it's going to be full of bone meal. This way, when we place a sapling in front of it, it'll automatically bone meal it so that it eventually grows into a tree. What is this? What is what? Oh, that's the wall that I made to keep out the lava from coming in the cave. Why did you use wood, Dum Dum? That's to reinforce it. The actual wall is made out of andesite. Wow, okay, you're pretty smart for a little guy. Thanks, Milo. And hey, you made the walls weird. Let me straighten these up a little. I don't know what to do. Oh, I know, Milo, don't worry, but I do, so I can definitely help show you. Now that the tree farm and the fish farm are done, it's time to get started building our mob farm, Milo. Yeah, we're gonna get these mobs and we're gonna farm them. Exactly. All right, let's dig all of this section out in this way. We need to make sure we're not gonna run into any, uh-oh, that's right, water caves. I'm getting really sick of digging. I'm getting pretty sick of finding water as well. Hmm, okay, if we go in this direction, it should help us avoid the water caves. But Chip, you gotta block this area up. Do you want me to do it? Okay, yeah, you can, Milo. Good job. All right, now I'm gonna place some blocks here. I don't want us running into the water. All right, now if I keep breaking the roof like this, eventually it should lead this way. And hey, Milo, the water's still getting in. Yeah, because you're breaking more blocks, buddy. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's my bad. It is your bad, and I don't forgive you. 
All right, well, you're gonna forgive me pretty soon because I'm gonna keep building this awesome mob section out of mossy cobblestone and mossy bricks. Mossy cobblestone? This is gonna look crazy. It's gonna look just like a regular monster spawner. Just look at this. We're doing so well already, Milo. Once we make it to the end of this thing, the mobs are gonna be able to spawn. I'm really proud of us, sir. Thanks, Milo. I'm really proud of us, too. We're doing such a good job building this thing in a way that will help us survive. Chip, we gotta keep this little window open. Even the mobs want to look at the ocean sometimes. Yeah, and I guess they can, but not for long, because we're totally gonna take them out every time they try. Let's just finish this wall, and uh-oh, I need to add some bricks underneath this. I don't want it looking messy. And wait, I broke a glass. Let me put that back. Gosh dang it, Chip. You're ruining everything I built. I'm getting crabby. Sorry, Milo. I thought you were getting birdie. Hey, that's not a funny joke. Sorry, are uh, only birdies allowed to say that? Yeah. Okay, I won't say it again. But now we've reached the end of the tunnel and we can actually start building the huge mob farm. Let's go. Let's dig it out all this way. We need to build four blocks in this direction and four blocks in that direction. Yep, this is perfect. The mobs cannot spawn outside the wall. Otherwise, they'll die from suffocation and it'll be impossible to get their loot. I don't have a dog in my family, but I'm sure my son will really, really appreciate having lots of bones to help grow the tree and get lots of materials so that he can eat all the apples and get big and strong. My son is gonna be even stronger than I am because my muscles aren't very big, but I'm sure one day they will be. Maybe we can build a gym inside this bunker so every day we can exercise and become a buff family. My wife is one of the best mob hunters out there. I know Milo's wife is pretty silly. She once thought a zombie was a dog and tried to tame it using bones and cooked steak. It did not go well, but luckily she survived thanks to the hospital. We also have to make the roof of this mob spawner pretty tall, otherwise the mobs will spawn in the ceiling and they could fall pretty far which might damage the floor. All right, now that we've done this, it's time to start filling this whole place in with mossy bricks and mossy cobblestone. The floor needs to be mossy bricks and the walls need to be mossy cobblestone because 99% of the spawners in Minecraft actually generate in strongholds and dungeons. So we need to make this mob spawning room look exactly like them. Otherwise, not as many mobs will spawn, which will really make our farms not work as well. We need them to work super quick so that if the lava breaks in, we have enough supplies to quickly repair them in an emergency. Okay, the floor is looking really good and it's coming along so quickly. Perfect, now it's time to start on the moss cobblestone walls. The roof actually does not need to be made out of mossy cobblestone because in a real Minecraft dungeon the roof is made out of stone blocks and any andesite and granite that get mixed up in it. We're just making this look as realistic as possible. Okay perfect. Normally a dungeon has mossy cobblestone mixed in with cobblestone but this dungeon is gonna be so old and ancient and haunted that it's only mossy cobblestone. The moss has spread to every single block in the dungeon. I think that's really important for letting the mobs know that this is exactly where they should be spawning, not some regular old normal dungeon. Hey Milo, are you here to help? Yeah, I was just thinking, because this place looks so haunted, the mobs are gonna feel really at home. Exactly, that's been my design plan. That's the reason I'm using a bunch of mossy cobblestone and no regular cobblestone. Yuck, I hate regular cobblestone. I know, we get so much of it when we mine and it just fills up your inventory. It is really annoying. Mike, get out of here, cobblestone. Um, Milo, I hear lava right now. I think the volcano might be really getting close to erupting. Are you kidding me, Chip? Now I'm feeling really nervous. We do not have a lot of time. No, we don't, Milo. So I need to get some skeleton eggs and put them inside the spawner. I'm also going to get some skeleton dolls to make this mob spawner room feel even more haunted. Skeleton dolls? That's so creepy. Yeah, there are skeletons all over the floor. This will help stop other mobs from spawning and ruining the spawner room. All right, perfect. Now only skeletons can spawn. This is making me feel really nervous. I'm going to run and check on Mim Mim. Yeah, I'm going to add a fence to the side of this mob spawner room. This way, none of the mobs will be able to escape. Look, Milo, there are already so many skeletons. I think we need to add some item frames on the wall and then fill them with netherite swords so that we can damage the mobs, just like this. Okay, the mob spawner is now complete, Milo. Really? Can I see it? Yeah, you can, but while you do that, I'm going to add a bunch of signs warning our families to stay away. Stay out. Skeleton spawner. 
Chip, this guy's looking at me funny. He wants to fight. Hey, Milo, stay back. You can't take them on with your cobblestone. When you want to fight the skeletons, you need to use one of the netherite swords from the wall. Grr, these guys are real buzzers. I don't like their energy. Yeah, neither do I, but Milo, I can feel the energy of the volcano coursing through the floor. Let's go up and check on our families to make sure they're safe. Look, Milo, lava is coming out of the volcano right now. Oh my gosh, it's gonna blow really soon. And look, there's smoke and fire at the top. It's getting really close to erupting. Oh, Chip, what are we gonna do? We need to tell our families. Hey, families, we're gonna work really hard to get this underwater secure base finished. Just stay safe. Take care of the kids. I love you. This is our final chance to make our base more secure and protect our families from the volcano, Milo. <laughs> No, we don't. That's why we need to make a freezer out of iron blocks and a bunch of packed ice, just like this. We need to keep all of our food fresh for a very long time. The freezer will act as a secure place to go to if the rest of the base gets way too warm. That's so true! We can come in here and get really toasty and then go for a long walk. No, Milo. The freezer is going to be where we come to cool down from the volcano. What? I thought you cook things in freezers. Milo, is this why all your food is undercooked and raw? Oh no, I just realized. I guess that's why I've been getting a lot of food poisoning lately. Oh, this looks so chilly already. I love it. Now I'm going to start adding iron doors and iron trap doors to make sure that the entire thing is sealed in. All right, you better put them down. All right, I will. Make sure you can get out of here though, Milo. Yeah, I'll add trap doors on the sides. Thanks, just in case I go lost, but... Look, there's even some padded snow and I'm really freezing. Let's shut the freezer off. We don't want it to be open yet, but what we do want to be open is a classroom for our kids. If they're going to be down here for super duper long, they need to learn. Milo Jr. already knows everything. What are they going to learn at school? They're going to learn how to play and how to make friends and how to survive in an underground bunker. I guess that's some pretty good lessons. Maybe I need to go to school. Yeah, I think you definitely do, especially the underground bunker class. I think you'd drive everybody crazy otherwise and get the whole bunker shut down. Can Mim Mim come to school as well? He's the smartest donkey I know. Okay, we can add a special donkey department in the school just for Mim Mim. That's great. I'm so excited to go back to school with my little baby. Whoa, there's water flowing into the classroom, Milo. We can't let that happen. The kids will drown when they're trying to learn their ABCs. Yucky, yucky, get it out of here. Well, they're trying to learn their ABCs, not their AB oceans. All right, I'm going to actually get started on making the classroom. First, I'm going to make a ring of barrels around the edge. This is not actually to store anything in, but it's to make it look like there's a bunch of wood on the floor. Above the barrels, we're going to add some white terracotta. See how this already looks like the inside of a school? It does look like a school. Wow, you're pretty smart. All right, the wall is nearly complete, Milo. And the wall is done. Perfect. Now we can actually get started on the floor. I think some spruce wood logs would be perfect. All right, spruce wood logs it is. You're a really good designer, Chip. I didn't know that about you. Thanks, Milo. I guess when you're stuck in a bunker together to survive a volcano explosion, you learn a thing or two about each other. What did you learn about me? Well, I learned that you really love donkeys and you really love your family. You would do anything to protect them from the volcano. I also learned that you really, really, really love bird seeds more than I even thought you did. Yeah, bird seeds is something I can never stop thinking about. What's this gonna be, a grass wall? No, Milo, this is the chalkboard so the teacher can teach them things. Wait. Um, I think we can take turns. I do not want you teaching them, and I don't have time to teach them. I have to make sure I can build things in the bunker and protect everybody, and wait a minute. Why am I cold? Because you're mean. What? I'm mean? Hey, Milo, did you put powdered snow on me? Yeah, and you pretty much said that I didn't know anything and that I'm bad at teaching. Every teacher has to have a really nice flower pot on the desk, especially if it's an art class. I guess so. Maybe we can paint the flower pots. Oh no, what's Mim Mim gonna learn? How to eat hay? Don't be so mean and discriminatory to my friend! Sorry Mim Mim, I know you can do more than eat hay. It's just that, um, I haven't really built a spot for Mim Mim. Mim Mim can stand at the back and learn all about the things. I think we can build the fun room in another level beneath everything else. Down in the gravel? 
Yep, exactly. Except it's not going to be gravel once we're done with the fun room. Let's start clearing out a big area because we're going to add so many awesome things inside here. What are we going to put inside, Chip? Well, we're going to add some amazing fun things that every kid would absolutely love, like a bouncy castle. Yeah, bouncy castles are so awesome. I don't think I'd mind being stuck down here forever if we have a bouncy Exactly. It'll be for our kids and also for us and even our wives because I know we like to get silly sometimes too. Alright, I think this is a pretty good size for the fun room. Let's just flatten out the walls so it's not all messy on both sides. Hey, yeah. You said it, Milo. Hmm. And I think the fun room can also have ice built into the ceiling just like this. The ice can zigzag all around so that the coolness spreads to every single area of the room. That way we can be very protected by the heat from the volcano. Uh, yep, and it can even go around in awesome patterns. Let's replace all this dirt with stone. Let's make the entire floor out of slime blocks. That way we can bounce everywhere. Except we're gonna be walking real slowly. Yeah, we are, but that's okay because this room is not gonna be that big. And there will definitely be other options to the slime blocks, like maybe an awesome parkour section. The parkour can start here and then it'll go up around like this. And we can even have a couple really difficult jumps that you have to try so hard for. I think the babies are going to struggle with this one. And then we can have some easy ones just to give the babies a nice time after that super difficult one before. And then we can have a really hard one again. Whoa, I didn't even know if I can do this one. Whoa, I made that impossible. Let's try it again. Boom, it's now fully possible. Then it'll go around like this, and then it can even zigzag back through here. Oh, this is perfect. Then it leads right back to the start. Oh, I'm loving this so far. Let's get some carpets to add some pretty fun rainbow colors to the carpet. Whoa, this is so pretty already. Wow, now let's get purple and pink. The parkour can start as red right here, and then it can go orange into yellow. Oh, I'm so excited to see what this looks like when it's fully done. All right, and then it can go purple here. Oh, wow, our kids are going to absolutely love this. I'm not going to love it because I'm bad at parkour. Whoa, this is looking awesome. Now let's add some awesome note blocks for the kids to play with. I say we get some note blocks and then some emeralds and, of course, some buttons for them to actually push and play with them. Buttons! I love buttons! Uh-oh. I think I just heard a weird noise. I don't know if that was related to the volcano or not, but it's reminded me that we better keep building quick. Um, I think we need to add a bunch of lanterns onto the roof. Let's add some orange ones and some blue ones so that it's just like us. The blue ones are even really cold, so it should help make the room a little cooler, even with the volcano. Pretty much like air conditioning. Exactly, but wait, Milo. Air conditioning. That gives me a great idea. But before I show you what the great idea is, I quickly need to get rid of this enchanting table because I need to make a ladder all the way up to the very top of our secure base entrance. You're gonna break my enchanting table that I put there in the beginning? That's okay, Milo, because what I'm about to do is really important. Come on, you gotta help me reinforce the beginning with a bunch of blocks, and I think we might even need iron for this. Iron? That's pretty cool. Crazy. Yeah, it's gonna need to be pretty crazy, Milo. Otherwise, the lava will totally melt it, and iron is a very strong block, so it should really hopefully help us against the lava. Are we doing it all the way down? Yeah, we need to replace this whole thing with iron so that it becomes a giant metal protection device. No. All right, great, this is looking awesome. I'm feeling so much more protected already, but we're not done yet, Milo. There's still a lot more we need to add. Let's build the ladder up like this all the way to the top, and I think it's time we make a trapdoor activation thing to keep our families inside. Trapdoor activation? What does that look like? We're gonna need a lever and a bunch of redstone. Oh, redstone? You know I can't do redstone. Don't worry, Milo, I'll do it for you. First, we need to have a bunch of trapdoors laid out just like this. Now, we need a lever right here that'll help lead all the way around. Hey, don't turn it off. Sorry. We need to be able to figure out if it can access every corner of this thing to make sure the whole thing can open and shut. I'm sure it works. Look, it just looks a bit silly. Yeah, it does, and there's one left in the middle. Oh gosh, you know what? I think we're gonna have to sacrifice it and wait. Maybe the middle one can even be obsidian to give us some extra protection against the lava. Yeah, lava hates obsidian. We're gonna be so secure. Watch what happens when we activate this off. 
and on again, and then off. Okay, perfect, but wait, I've just discovered something terrible. What? We can only activate it from the outside. If we're inside the base, we have no way of turning it on and off. How are we gonna make it connect down there? Well, we're gonna need to do some pretty interesting redstone engineering and link it all the way back down the tunnel. It's really important that we leave some spaces where three blocks exist. That way we can add redstone repeaters to superpower the signal. What do redstone repeaters do? They make the signal back to full strength again, otherwise the redstone gets weaker and weaker over time. Okay, now let's add redstone all the way up here and a repeater here. This way the signal goes back to full. Let's also add another repeater here so that when it goes right up to the very top, the redstone is not weak at all. Okay, now let's go back down. We'll need to break the obsidian to get in this time, but let's place it right back like that. And once we add a lever right here, Clicking it should activate our super awesome trap door. Oh yeah, look at that, Milo. Try flicking it on and off again. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Now, what you said earlier about aircon gave me a really good idea. Well, the good idea was to install an air conditioning system around the whole base to blow breezy cold air everywhere. First, we need to get a fan. I think these blue ones are perfect. Let's add a bunch more of these ceiling fans in this freezer room to soak up all of the energy. They're not spinning very fast, but they don't have to because the fan on the side of the wall is gonna really do the trick. First, we need to place a bunch of terracotta just like this. And finally, we'll place one like this. All right, look at that. You can see the fan shape starting to form in the middle. Now, if we place iron back on the sides and then some quartz stairs just like this, it looks like a real fan blowing super cold air. Does it connect to the ones up there? Yeah, it does, Milo. And it's gonna connect to a bunch more of these style fans all around our secure underwater base. Come on, let's go add a bunch more. Oh, I think right here would be absolutely perfect. We need to keep it cool. Exactly. Oh, this is kind of complicated to build. Oh no, I have to break the bookshelves in order to do this. I'm so sorry. All right, we did it. Now let's put everything back. I don't want to totally break everything. Let me go see if what I did to the fan actually worked or if it just looks silly. Okay, no, it works. That's perfect. Now let's actually add in the quartz stairs like this and perfect. We've got another one of these fans ready to cool down the base. I think this can be the last fan. It looks like it's gonna do a really good job cooling down the whole area. Yeah, this whole thing is gonna be cool as a cucumber. And finally, I think we can add some powdered snow around the base just to add some extra coolness just in case. Can I do it? I'll help you as well, but you can be the main person in charge. Hey, Skellies, I hope you like some powdered snow for your afternoon. Yeah, me too. I think they will like it. It'll really help stop them from burning up if the lava ever gets inside here. Plus, they probably like snow. Hey, you locked me in with the skeletons. Uh-huh, you look like a skeleton. No, I don't. What? I look really handsome. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. And we can also add some in our sitting area because it's where we'll spend a lot of our time. We'll even add some on this top level. Perfect. Oh, I'm really liking this. What about yeah, there can even be some in the bathtub, but oh no, the water's too warm. It just melts. I put some up here. It's okay. Okay, and we'll put some in the toilets. One of my toilets is totally covered in snow. Finally, there's one last thing we have to do, and that is reinforce this outer glass wall. It's going to help us see in, but it could also be our downfall. So let's add a bunch of iron blocks around it to make sure it does not break. It looks like a submarine. It kind of does, and I guess it is like a submarine for us. It helps us see all the way into the water that's going to surround our base. And I'm also just going to quickly push these stairs a little bit further back. That way they don't block any of our view into the ocean in our underwater secret base. Perfect. Oh, this is awesome so far. Look how protected we are, and we even have an amazing view into the ocean. And we have really good hiding spots just in case we want to hide from the volcano. Yeah, exactly. Good one, Milo. Now I think it's time to go get our families. Let's go get them. Families, I'm so glad we managed to get you inside the bunker and safe from the volcano. We've been spending so much time building this secure base so that you guys are safe. We're going to survive for a really long time and we're going to have so much fun in here, Chip Jr. Okay, guys, I believe we can survive for so long if we have to. But wait. What is it, Milo? Really? What, Milo? A teddy? How important can that be? Look how sad he is. We have to go save his teddy. Come on. 
Wait, will he be able to sleep without his teddy? No, he won't be able to sleep. He'll be sad forever. Oh, that'll probably keep the entire thing awake. That'll be bad. All right, you know what? Let's go up and out of this ladder. I hope the eruption isn't too bad. I'm so scared to see what's happening and... Whoa! Whoa, Milo, look at that eruption. Oh, goodness gracious, Chip. I don't think we have a lot of time. Oh, gosh. Hey, Milo, where did your son say he left his teddy again? He didn't say, but yeah, these blocks are burning me. Oh, Milo, you gotta be careful. Okay, it's not in your kitchen, and what? It's not in your bedroom. No, I don't think it's in this house at all. Maybe he just left it in the village. Oh, Milo, do we have time to go to the village? The lava is coming down pretty quickly. Oh, Chip, we gotta run quickly. Okay, is it in this house? I'm gonna check under every single bed to make sure that the teddy's not hiding in there. Maybe it's in the pig pen. No, it's not there either. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Okay, I don't see it here. Um... Where could it be? Maybe it's somewhere up the hill. I'm gonna go up this hill, Milo, because I don't think the lava will flow here. If anything, it'll flow through the downway streets. I bet one of these villagers stole it. Where is my baby's teddy? What type of teddy is it, Milo? It's just a little teddy. You'll know it when you see it. Um, but is it like a teddy bear or a teddy squid? Yeah, it's a teddy bear. It's a panda bear. A panda bear? Okay, so it's black and white. Um, wait. Oh, no. I thought I saw it, but it was just a white sheep and a black sheep right next to each other. I'm getting burned by these blocks. It's getting really hot out here. Oh, I just found an egg on one of the magma blocks. I think it was getting fried. Oh, goodness. Whoa, this is terrible. It really is getting hot. I can feel the lava coming closer. Oh, we have to find this panda quick. It's not in this bed, and I don't see it anywhere else. But wait, look, Milo. Here it is, next to the village bell. We found it. Oh, my gosh. Let's take it quickly. Come on, we have to quickly get back into our bunker. Ow, I'm getting burned by all these magma blocks. Oh gosh, look, the explosion is getting even bigger. Come on, chicken. Okay, I've got the chicken's egg just so that we can have animals in the bunker as well. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Come on, we've got to get down here, Milo, quick. Oh gosh, I don't think we have much time. No, Milo, you died. <gasps> I can't believe this. I'm all alone with your families. <gasps> This is terrible. You were like a brother to me. You even were a brother to me. Chip, open up. I'm up here. Milo, you respawned quick. Get in before the lava gets so bad that you never respawn again. And I've even got all your stuff. I got your potatoes and your seeds and even your egg and a bunch of beds just in case you need them. I'm going to quickly give this plushie to your kid. Okay. I'm so glad we're safe. That was so freaky. Here you go, Milo Jr. Here is your panda plushie so you can forever sleep in peace and you won't keep everybody up all night crying. Wait, Chip, can you hear that rumbling? Oh, yes, I can. I can hear all the lava. Oh, goodness. But thank goodness we're safe down here. We made a really good base and we kept the family safe. Yeah, look, we can read go in the kitchen and Mim Mim's here too. Hey, Mim Mim's so safe. This is amazing. Yeah, we did a really good job making this secure underwater bunker for our families. Come on, let's go enjoy the views of the ocean, everybody. 